Hi guys, welcome to Pencil College. Thank you for your determination. This is our last part of the chapter. Okay, chapter 13.4 on the factor formula. Okay, so here are the lesson objectives for this video. We want to apply the factor formula to evaluate expressions, prove identities, and solve trigonometric equations. Okay, so just a quick introduction to the factor formula. Okay, um, there's, I guess there's no point in me just uh, rattling off these four, four formulas that you see on the screen right now. Okay, a, a more effective way of learning it is to look at it through some examples. Okay, so I probably just want to point out the purpose of the factor formula. The factor formula, as you can see on the screen, is used to combine or rather to add two sine functions. Okay, subtract two sine functions and similar for cosine and uh, for the cosine function as well. Okay, similarly, okay, or rather conversely, if we were to move from the right hand side of the factor formula to the left hand side of the factor formula, we can actually break up some of these complicated looking sine or cosine functions. Okay, so um, yeah, without further ado, let, let us just look at some tangible examples. So in example number one, we are asked to express the following as products of trigonometric functions. Okay, so we have sine 3x plus sine x. So if we were to stare at this very carefully, we this is actually in the form of the first factor formula you see on the screen, which is being highlighted in yellow right now. Okay, so what we will do is to first identify our parameters. Okay, so in this case, in the first case, our p is 3x and our q, sine of q over here, is x. Okay, so having identified our parameters, let us move on to use the factor formula. Okay, so 2 sine, so factor formula says this can be broken, up, broken down in the 2 sine, half of p plus q, which is 3x plus x, okay, cosine half of p minus q, which is 3x minus x. Okay, so simplifying this, we will have 2 of sine half times 4x, we'll just simply, okay, or rather maybe I'll just uh, write a few more steps in the working. So half of 4x, cosine half of 2x, okay, and simplifying this a little bit further. Okay, I will just arrive at sine 2x, cosine x. And that's my final answer. Okay, now for example 1b, okay, I will be making use of the second factor formula. Okay, so I'll just highlight it in blue over here. So we'll be making use of this formula. Okay, so similarly, let us identify our parameters. So in this case, p should be 4x and q should be 10x. So similarly, making use of this uh, factor formula over here, I'll have 2 cosine half of p plus q, which is 4x plus 10x, multiplied by sine, okay, I'm just out of space over here, so I'll write, I'll write a multiplication sign, sine half of p minus q, which is 4x minus 10x. Okay, so simplifying this a little further, I'll have 2 cosine half of 14x sine, sine half of negative 6x. And simplifying this even further, 2 cosine of 7x sine of negative 3x. So at this point in time, let me just help you guys, uh, or rather just uh, remind you that the sine of theta is equals to, or rather, okay, let me just uh, change this a little. The sine of negative theta is same as or is equals to the negative of sine theta. Okay, so why, why did I mention this? Because the sine of negative 3x is the same as negative sine of 3x. Okay, so 
Okay, so this using this, we can break it down to our final answer over here. Okay, so that's all for example one. It's a pretty simple and straightforward example. Let's move on to look at example two, which we will make use of the cosine factor formula. Okay, so in this example, we want to express it as products of trigo functions. So cosine 2x plus cosine 5x, we will be making use of the first factor formula, first cosine factor formula you, you see now being highlighted in yellow. Okay, so this will just be, okay, so similarly, let me identify the parameter. So P is just, in this case, P is just 2x and Q is just 5x, okay? So this gives me 2 cosine half of P plus Q, which is 2x plus 5x, okay? Multiplied by cosine half of P minus Q, which is 2x minus 5x. Okay, and uh, simplifying this a little further, I'll have 2 cosine of 7x over 2, okay, 2x plus 5x gives me 7x, okay, cosine of negative, okay, just put, put a bracket here, so 2x minus 5x gives me negative 3x over 2. Okay, before I simplify further, I also want to remind everyone that cosine of theta, or rather cosine of negative theta, is the same as cosine theta. Okay, so therefore, this function you see over here should be the same as cosine 3x over 2. Okay, and from here, we are done. Okay, moving on to the second part of this uh, example. So let me just highlight the next, the next factor formula that we'll be using. So this one over here. Okay, so yes, what we're going to use the factor formula that's being highlighted in blue now. Okay, so similarly, let us identify our parameters. So in this case, our parameters P is 7x and q okay so cosine of p minus cosine of q so q should be x okay, and similarly i'll be making use of this uh of this formula okay so this gives me negative 2 okay so take note this is the only factor formula with a negative sign over here so negative 2 sine of half p plus q okay so sine of half p plus q so p is 7x plus q which is x sine of half p minus q so 7x minus x okay simplifying this a little further so this gives me half of sine 8x sorry half times 8x sine half of 7x minus x which is 6x okay so I can simplify this a little bit more to just give me negative 2 sine 4x multiplied by sine 3x okay and that's all for this example okay so I hope you enjoyed these two examples on the factor formula for more examples on trigonometry as well as the factor formula please log on to pencilcollege.com okay I'll see you in the next video see ya